Uh, Keith Chen is a, a young economist at Yale. Economists, what they try to do in part is understand how people spend money. And it can be tricky because people don't always tell you the way that they really would respond in a situation. What if I could get around the people entirely? What if I could get a bunch of monkeys and teach the monkeys to use money? So he set up this lab at Yale New Haven Hospital. And the way it worked is this, there'd be, there'd be a big cage, um, uh, there you see, a, a communal cage, where all the monkeys would live. Here, then down toward the end, there's a smaller cage, where the experimental cage. Now, the reason they had uh, the experimental cage was that the veterinarians who were overseeing this experiment, they would not allow Keith Chen to give monkey, money to the monkeys in the big cage because they thought that that would pollute the monkeys' natural culture. And, and there are a couple important things to know about the capuchin monkey. The first is that it is a sugar fiend. You know that they have a bottomless stomach of want for this thing that you have, which is, which is sweet food in abundance. The other thing you want to know about the capuchin monkey is that they're not thought to be a really smart monkey. We thought to think about really two things, one of which, as I mentioned, was food, and the other is sex. What would happen is you'd bring Felix from the big cage into the little cage down here, and you'd give him a coin. And when Felix would take the coin, he'd sniff it and try to eat it. And when he could see that it's not edible, or that he couldn't have sex with it, he'd get rid of it. So then what you had to do was you'd give the monkey a coin and then offer some food, some sweet food, and the monkey would grab the food. And then you would take the coin out of the monkey's other hand. It took, on average, about six months for these seven monkeys to learn that if you give a coin, then in exchange you get food so that you can buy food. Can a, a monkey express its preferences through money? Because that's what human beings do. So the experiment he set up was very nice. One. The way it worked is this. You'd bring the monkeys into the little cage down here, and you'd offer um, each of the monkeys a variety of different foods to buy, and all the foods were the same price. So you just want to see, do each of the individual monkeys have particular preferences, and if they do, do they consistently express those preferences over time? So they started to run these experiments, and to Keith Chen's surprise, the answer was that yes, they did. Whenever there was jello available for sale, Felix would always buy the jello. What the monkeys are doing is responding rationally, okay? And they're expressing their preferences. But now, being an economist, he, he wants to mess with them. And what he wants to do now is he wants to introduce uh, price shocks into the monkey economy. And what that means is he's going to double the price of each monkey's favorite food and only that favorite food to see what happens. And now, once they double the price of each monkey's favorite food, he'd give a coin and get just one cube of jello. So now Keith Chen is thinking, all right, if you're a rational actor, like a human being, what do we do? Your favorite fruit is the gala apple. And overnight, it's doubled in price. What do you do? Well, most of us would say, well, we'll probably still buy some of the apples because we like them, but we'll probably buy a lot more of the other foods that, w that are now relatively much cheaper. But what Keith Chen saw is that the monkeys actually responded rationally to the price shocks. And so Felix, for instance, would buy less of the Jello than he'd bought before and more of the other foods that were relatively cheaper. If Keith Chen ever needed further evidence of the parallels between them and us, he got it one day when something very, very strange happened in the lab. But on this day, for whatever reason, things went differently. And usually they would present each monkey with a little basket of like 12 coins. And usually the monkey would gather up the 12 coins and start to buy food from researchers on either side of the, the cage. But on this day, for a reason that no one could ever explain really, instead of gathering up the coins, Felix took the little basket of money and, and threw it back up here into the big cage, and then he runs in after it. So it, it's like, a, it, it's like a, 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 a bank heist over here, followed by a jailbreak into the big cage here. And now in the big cage, it's total chaos because there are seven monkeys and 12 coins on the floor, and they go for it because they've learned that money has value over there. And they go for it, so he runs in to get the money back. And the monkeys won't give the money back because they say, we'll hang on to this and buy grapes for later. So he's got to go out and get a bunch of food to bring it in to bribe the monkeys to give the monkey back. And then out of the corner of his eye, Keith Chen would see something that later he would really regret having seen, which is one monkey 
who's still holding on to a coin, goes over to the second monkey and gives the, 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 the second monkey the coin. And now Keith Chen, the economist, is thinking, what am I seeing in the monkey economy? Is it, is it monkey altruism? Is it, uh, is it the repayment of a loan of some kind? There were a couple seconds of grooming um, between the monkeys, and then, yeah, bam, it's monkey sex. It is the first recorded instance of monkey prostitution in the history of science. And then to show how thoroughly the monkeys understood the concept of money by now, after the sex was over, which is like eight seconds, right? Because they're monkeys. After the sex is over, the monkey who had received the coin for sex promptly marches it over to Keith Chen to buy some grapes with it. I'm sure if there had been a cigarette machine in the cage, it would have gone straight for that instead, right? (laughs) 